The new crime fighting effort is being done in association with the primary schools in the north of the island and the National Library Service, according to Deputy Divisional Officer, Assistant Superintendent Janice Eiffel. It's not snitching, it's actually saving lives, right? We recognize that sometimes children might encounter things and then for one reason or next they say, well, they're not going to say anything. But in not saying anything, we recognize also that sometimes it could cause a life or cause harm to someone else. So we want to let them know that if they really see something, they must say something. And in saying something, we are guaranteeing them that the police officers will respond positively. We will take action because we want them to recognize that they can confide in us and that we are here for them in partnership with all the primary schools and the National Library. The senior police officer says the COVID-19 pandemic impacted a similar earlier effort by the service. In 2019, if you remember, we had feet on the ground and soft touches. We entered the primary schools and the secondary schools, and there were females on the ground engaging the community. So we were stopped because of COVID, but we are back out in our full numbers now, and we are prepared to get into our communities and reach out to each and every one that we serve. The new initiative comes at an opportune time for the leadership of the Northern Division of the Service. This is history in the making. This is, you have my superintendent, our command division officer, Christine Stanford, and myself. We are the first in the history of the Barbados Police Service to have women actually leading a, a Northern Division, a division at all in the service. It's a proud moment in history for the force as well as the community. The If You See Something, Say Something initiative is the first in a series of outreach programs on the cards between the police and the Barbadian community. Trevor Thorpe, CBC News.